What is up guys? So today I got a brand new video for you today. It's not a fun one. <laughs> it's just a talker, but uh, Yeah, we got some important things to talk about you can tell from the title what we're kind of gonna discuss But uh, I have a few talking points um, The first one I want to talk about um, It's kind of weird which I don't know which one I should talk about first raids and burnout. They kind of go together um, So we'll talk about the burnout um, These last few days. I obviously haven't been on much haven't been doing much the raids update itself is already delayed um, I mean a lot <laughs> to be honest a lot technically almost a month now because it was originally supposed to be out on the 15th of June um, I'll go into that I'll go into more detail about that in a bit but I just want to talk about the reasons why everything's been slow lately so I set um, I set up a vacation I was gonna leave on um, on June uh, not on June 1st July 1st and then come back uh, today Right, sorry about that. I have no clue what I, the last thing I was talking about was. I had to go do something for my dad. Right, so I think I was talking about my vacation. So the plan was to leave the first um, and then come back the 10th. Uh, yesterday was my birthday. So I turned 26. And the, day, the plan was to come back today, basically. And I am back. I am 100% officially back. But the hope was to release raids and then go on vacation. And, you know, that, but that didn't work. And I tried. I spent the first few days of my vacation trying to power through, trying to finish everything. But it became real apparent that it wasn't going to happen. And that brings me to the first discussion. Burnout, right? Burnout is a real thing. It is very... It's it's not just a private server thing. I think that's what a lot of people confuse it with. They think it's just private servers or, or something like that. I think it's a RuneScape issue in general. It's just because there's a lot of content and a lot of grinding. But you get to a certain point where, I don't know, either you finish a goal or you're so far away from the goal you lose interest in the goal. And you just you just can't... You can't do anything anymore. You just You just lose interest in the game. Now, for me, it's weird because I also play the game. I have my legit account, and then I also own the game and develop the game and work on the game. So it's kind of tough when you get burnt out playing the game. It makes it a lot harder to want to do anything with it. And uh, on my main series, my From Scratch series, I'm just at a point now where it's really hard to get any progress. It's really hard to get any videos. So the few days that I've been on, I've been playing my hardcore, but I've been starting on my hardcore. I think it's the time. I think we can always do the From Scratch. We have... Um, yeah, I believe you're up to date. I don't think there's any spoilers. I haven't gotten any new items, so I think we're only missing like four or five items. So we're pretty darn close. I think it's time we start up on the hardcore. So I've actually been on these last few days. People people assumed that I wasn't online during my vacation or or anything like that. I actually was. I was just floating around on a hardcore. So uh, you probably have seen me. I'll have some information about that soon. I do have a video already recorded, but no one knows who I am, <laughs> and it's really nice to not get like PMs and. And harassment and all that so I'm gonna try to keep that secret for at least a little while I'll, I'll get like three videos ready to go and then I'll just uh, I guess I'll reveal the name <laughs> but yeah the point I'm trying to get across is that burnout is real it happens um, there's obvious signs of it it's happened plenty of times before we've all been there um, the difference is you can just go play a different game I have to power through and empowering through um, a lot of the times does more 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 harm like, I feel like if I didn't take my vacation and I kept going, it probably would have just, uh, it probably would have gotten worse. Like, I wouldn't have been able to get out of it. Because right right now, I'm feeling good. I'm pretty optimistic about um, our future. And I think I'm over it. And I, I don't think I would have been had I not, had I not one left taking breaks, you know, celebrated my birthday without actually, ever, I don't even think I logged in once yesterday other than Discord just to tell people what was up. Um, so just stuff like that is really helpful. And especially, I always tell my staff team that. I'm like, there's no shame in burnout. Like, if you're burnt out, you don't want to play the game anymore. Just let me know. Um, there's there's no sense in you just like going AFK and then you know getting demoted because you're inactive. There's there's no reason for it. Just tell me. We'll be we'll be honest. And then whenever you want to come back, if you ever do want to come back, your spot will be open. And that applies to players. Don't ever give away your stuff when you think you're quitting, because a lot of the times <laughs> you're coming right back. It's just burnout. So I'll admit I was burned out, and um, it's it's one of those things where I really don't know what what. What fixes it? What solves it? The last time I can remember I was really burnt out was around the time um, I, I came back when uh, when Woody got demoted. So, so that I don't know if that itself was the catalyst to push me up. I'm not sure, but it's a it's a real thing, and I, I think you just have to like understand it and just and just not pretend like it isn't a thing, not hide it. You just have to admit. It. I think just taking breaks from games is important, especially games like this where you spend a lot of time grinding out one particular thing, and and it's. Unfortunately, a lot of RNG based. Like, I don't know if Elias got his pet. Did he ever get his pet? I suppose I should type in the name of the person I'm checking. Uh, where's his pet tab? Oh, he did! 
Congrats, at least he got a little blob. That's good. See, but my point is, like, what if he did all that grinding and never actually got it? That would be, if I was him, I would probably quit from that. Like, not because the game's bad or because, oh, I, I, I didn't get the thing I wanted. I'm going to quit. It's not that reason. It's just when you put so much effort into something and it doesn't happen or just you're just losing interest in it, then and it just makes sense to leave. Go play, go play Fortnite or something like that. So I'm here just to say that uh, I'm back. Everything's good. We're ready to go. Um, let's talk about raids. That's the next big thing. So um, the problem with raids and the reason why it hasn't been out yet, because there have been multiple areas where I've said it's ready, it's almost it's almost good to go, and then like five day gaps of no nothing. Um, I've just been running into a lot of it, not not only in game errors, like actual problems that I can't fix, or um, not not that I can't fix because we fixed some of them. It's just becoming too many and it's becoming not worth it. Um, but it, it's really it really comes down to I, I like ideas because a lot of the ideas I had I wanted to that I liked are not happening for example the really big one that that's kind of holding me back from everything is the combat um, damage tracking because that was the that was the only way real way I could see this working was that if you end up having to do a bunch of damage because not a lot of people are playing you get rewarded for it the problem is I can't I don't know how to do that I can't pull it off um, so right now you could end up soloing the entire thing by yourself spend like two hours because it's not meant to be soloed or spend like two hours grinding it out i mean it's not really possible i don't even think it'd be possible because you can't you can't like save progress but my point is like you could put in all that effort and then get one reward bag where a dude who came in and like leached it basically it's hard to leech but let's just say he did leech it somehow just wasn't putting any effort in was just eating food and just dancing around he could get a five reward system and you could get a one reward system and he gets like four sites or something like that something stupid just that's just like that's my problem right now that I have. I don't I don't like it. I like the bosses. The bosses, all six, are good to go. I'd like them. I've had issues coding them. That's another thing that's been delaying it. I've been having a lot of errors, a lot of design changes because the, the original idea didn't work. Um, okay, uh, so it's just been it's been tough, and I don't know if I want to release it as is without that combat mechanic where it's a group bosses and because it just I don't it, for one I, I I don't know how to give a loop. Because if we don't have that, it'd just be random. And I really hate the idea of two people going in, one person who did nothing getting a five-tier reward system, and then the other dude who actually did everything getting none. I just, I don't like the idea of that. That's going to suck. And I know as players, you don't want that either. Um, but I've been having a hard time trying to figure out how to, to effectively do, how to effectively do it. I, so, I, I mean, like... That's, that's one issue. And then um, the another issue is it is group boss. And I know that from God Wars 2, we established that that was a bad idea. And the thing about it is, yeah, you know, they're different. With, with God Wars 2, only one person gets the loot. And with raids, everyone gets the loot. But I think the problem is still going to be the same. Like, if the rule... I, I, I don't know how well the rewards are going to be. Because obviously you have... Congrats to all times. Get a nice twisted bow. Obviously, you have your high-end stuff with your scythe and everything. But it's, you know, the lower tier stuff probably isn't going to be great. And a lot of people might just not even be interested in it at all. So if you have, like, like right now we're, we're, we're at a pretty low player count. And it is 4 o'clock, so 42 people is pretty low. I'll, I'll get into, uh, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk about that in a little bit as well. Because I, I don't want to like gloss over or anything like that. And I'm sure you can realize that, you know, the server we always have AFK so it's probably not even a real 42. We'll talk about that, but... If you're at this time, well, that's not bad. It's about halfway. That's not bad. Like, you know, obviously you want more, but I think you could live with that amount. I think the I think the average is 12, uh, 12, 500. So he basically just got slightly above average. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, like so if you're at, you're at a point where there's only like forty two people, I don't know how many people would want to actively raid. And my issue with it is the way I had scaled it originally. I'm probably going to rescale it a million times because I don't like how it is now. I just think it'd be really hard. And the fact that you have to do six bosses in a row, I feel like we might have we might we might struggle to get um, enough people that would want to do it as is right now. Um, and even if we do have like a bunch of players, let's just say because I'm making videos again, people come back and we get to 60 or so, which is about what I would I would want. I would think 60 is a really solid base. That that'd be the you know the ultimate player base so we get back there i still feel like it might be tough to find five people uh at minimum that want to do it so i've been rethinking my ideas i feel like i i think the group boss could work but not this i like because it because like the only thing you can really compare it to in terms of group bosses is vasa 
And then event bosses like Blob or Rooster or Skeleton we've had in the past. And the thing is, if I go to Blob right now, um, I don't think anyone's going to be there. Now, the rewards from Blob... And I think I got a hair in my game now. So. The rewards from Blob are obviously not going to be the same as from um, Raids. Raids. I think that that's the only thing that really could keep it popular is rate is the fact that you do get the scythe and the scythe the scythe the rapier all that stuff all that really cool stuff i think that's the only thing that would keep it popular but if it doesn't then the entire thing was all for naught it was all wasted content wasted update every you know what i mean i just i I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe i should have listened to myself and not done a group boss so what i'm thinking is since the bosses are actually done and that's not an issue. It's not like I don't know what bosses I want to do. I don't like how they turned out. They all, they've all turned out pretty well. I, have no, I mean, I've had a couple design changes because things didn't work out. But it's nothing major that I'm, like, broken up about. Um, I can live with all the changes I've had to make. I'm thinking about maybe making it solo. You would go in, kill all six yourself, and get your own reward. So that way you could do it at any point. It would still be kind of difficult. But if you were good enough to do it, you could. I just don't know. Like, I, I know that the group boss is what a lot of people wanted. It's what I wanted. I like the idea of it. But I think if we can't get that combat mechanic where it's tracking how much damage you did and you're getting extra rewards based on your damage, then I don't think we should do it. That's my main setback. I suppose I haven't, I haven't really talked to Dark about it. Um, I could ask him and see if that's something that he can whip out quickly or or can do, you know. So I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know how difficult it would be. But that's, I think that's the main thing that's setting me back from wanting to do group. I just, if they, I just think it would suck if you... Um, one have a hard time finding a group. You do find a group, and then you get, you know, you 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 grind it out hard to try to find a group. You yelled finding five, you know, finding players for graves, finding players for raids, or whatever. I don't know how it exactly would go down. It's possible because of the rewards that they would really be enough people doing it. Um, I, I, my plan is to never put them in donate or anything, or never add other ways to get them. Because if we did, that would immediately destroy the value of raids, and and no one would want to do it. It's not the same as like normal raids where some people want to do it. It's it's I don't think anyone would do it if you could get the boxes from like, let's just say Uberbox had the stuff. I think most people would prefer just doing whatever just doing something AFK, grinding out Uber components, getting an Uberbox and trying to get lucky. I think most people would do that. So I'm not really making a straw poll or anything, just give me your opinions. I'm gonna do a giveaway in this video. So if you wanna give me your opinion, put down your username. I'm gonna be giving away five Mossy keys. Five to just random person you don't have to have the best comment just comment your opinion on everything and leave your name and i will pick a random winner to win five masa keys um just give me your opinions what do you think we should do because I don't, I don't think it would be too difficult to redo everything to make it where it's solo i think everything could i mean i'd have to like i'd probably have to do a little messing around with it and i've already done a lot of effort to make it group but you know um i think it'd be fine I just don't. I just don't know if I want to release group without that comment mechanic. If you guys think it'd be fine, if you don't, you know, maybe you guys don't share the same opinion as me. Let me know. Um, I think that I think the rewards could could, could could keep it active enough, but that's like the only thing we have because I don't think people are gonna want to do it for fun's sake. I've always been curious as to what people find fun about RuneScape because when you think of RuneScape, it's not really a fun game. Like 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 immediate like ah ha ha I'm having fun ha ha ha. It's not like that kind of fun. It's like a grindy, satis... You know, there's... It's not so much you're having fun. It's you're satisfied with the time you've spent. And and, and I just don't know what exactly you find fun. I know a lot of people find pecan fun. I know a lot of people find bossing fun. Some people find skilling fun. What do you find fun? Because, um... Yeah, I just like... If it isn't... If the minigame isn't fun, there's not a lot of players, and the reward system is random, I, I don't think people are going to want to do it. I feel like high-tiered high, like high -tiered players would probably just get burnt out on, on getting shit loots. Um, so then I thought about maybe making it just all one loot system, and that's fine too, but that's just kind of boring. I like the idea of like, oh, I just got a five, I got a large reward chest. What am I going to get? You know, I like that idea rather than everyone just getting the same thing. Um, and since it is using the same chest system as most chests, as pretty much all chests, um, the chances of getting a good item are 1 in 250. So if you're only getting one roll every raid... I'd have to up the rates. I mean, I'd just have to update the rates because 1 in 250 is just insane. But if you get 5 rolls and it's basically 1 in 50, that, you know, that was was more balanced. So, so that's been the problems with rates. Um, we've talked about not wanting spoilers. If that's changed too, people just want to see what we have and what we're working with, I can do that too. Um, give me all your opinions on that. I'm still going to work on what I know no matter what is going to get done, like the bosses. I, I know that the bosses are, are going to be in it no matter what. 
So I'm going to make sure that those are as perfect as possible. And then the other things we'll figure out together. Um, I do want to do a lot more streams. I think streaming, uh, we did that 12 hour one on uh, the, fir uh, the 8th. 8th, the 8th of June, and that was a lot of fun, that was very successful, I actually hit our player count during that, I don't think that was exactly because of the 12 hour stream, but um, we had a lot of things going on, it was pretty fun, so I want to do more of those, I'm going to be doing a 5 hour on the 13th, this this Saturday, I need to update my calendar, it's still in June, that's so, how so, so freaking the far back I am, uh, this Saturday, the 13th, I will be doing a 5 hour stream, it's going to start um, well, probably about 1pm Pacific Standard, it's not like a, a, a definite start time, it's always around 1pm, but yeah, if you're on around that time, you'll you'll see me. So what we'll be doing is just, uh, I, I, I have a question about streams, to the people who actually watch the streams, would you want to see like From Scratch stuff, or my Iron Man, my Hardcore Iron Man? I never really do like my account streams, all my streams are generally just masses or um, coding or something like that. So let me know if you'd actually want to see like in-game content stream, a stream where we don't mass, you just watch me play my hardcore Iron Man and we talk for five hours or whatever. Um, I want to do a lot more coding streams as well. The next big update after raids is going to be Darklight boots, the Darklight trial boots, basically comp, comp boots. Um, but I want to do a coding stream Either before or after or during, I don't. I don't really know when I want to do it. But I'll have. A, I'll have a, when I when I have a date. I'll give it give you the date. But I want to do a coding stream. And the coding streams. What, the one I'm going to be the one I'm talking about is where I code everything live while we're streaming. Um, so it's not like one where we just go. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to work on Dark Lights boots, um, and you're going to watch me. No, it's it's like okay. Well, what do you guys think we should do? Oh, is this this cake stall? Is it? Is there something wrong with this? Let's pretend like this cake stall, you know, had a chance of not giving you a cake. We would we would figure that out live on I think. So like those little things that just kind of always get ignored because they're not important enough to be in a main update. Those are what we'd focus on. So we'd focus on just a, a bunch of little stuff, just that stuff you you know you've been noticing is wrong with the game, and either you've reported it to me and I haven't fixed it yet, or you just didn't think it was worth reporting. That kind of stuff we'll work on. So I want to I want to do one of those. I will have a date for you soon. Um, and then again, more videos as well. I do want to do more videos. That's what I'm, you know, that's what, that's the, that's, that's the whole thing, right? That's how this all got started. If I wasn't making videos, I don't think any of us would be here. But, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is if there's not a new video out tomorrow at 5 p.m., everybody gets a free Miss Masiki. Because I know I've been saying new videos coming, new videos coming, new videos coming, and then they don't come. So I want to, I want to put some, some stakes on it. So if, if I don't make a video tomorrow by 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, everybody who reminds me gets a free Masiki. So... I think I'm going to keep the video uh, there. We did keep it under 20 minutes, which is really impressive, especially considering you're not actually seeing anything. You're just hearing me talk. Thank you, God of Death. I totally ignored you. I feel bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know your opinions, guys. We got we we gotta, we gotta, we got some work to do. It's going to be fun once we can actually get it out whenever whenever Raids comes out, however form it takes. Um, yeah. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully before 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. <laughs>